Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss about what are the variables available in the Microsoft Copilot. Okay. And if you go back to our Microsoft Copilot, right? And if you see over here, they have upgraded the UI, right? Now we will see uh, the topics and the action and the channels over here rather than in the setting sections, which was coming over here. Anyway, so what we will do, we will go to one of the topic right and we'll try to understand so one of the topic that we created was uh, we created flight status right here so allow over here okay so what we see over here is once this topic get triggered right and uh, triggered by uh, the phrases right that is the intent that we have created now in this uh, we are asking for one information if you see over here i will close this test chat toilet uh save response right so we are asking for the flight number and let's say if we want so right now once you capture this flight number this is going to be saved in this topic right so if you see over here it's limited to the topic right now if you want uh, this particular uh what do you say entity or the user information which has been captured right to be saved as a global and can be used anywhere else so you have to select as a global right and what will happen is now user entered flight right will be tre treated as a global and you can also specify like uh, allow to carry between the sessions allow to external source when you are connecting to let's say uh, any third party applications that also uh, it gets over there so we will do allow to carry between the session like in the session carrying uh, between the session or not uh, like from one session to another one so we will just don't do that all the fresh session will not have will have to input this one but from one this topic to another topic uh, we will get this value. So just to give you example, so we have saved in the flight status, right? And uh, I'm not sure if the API is still working, but we will do the test. So what we will do is from here, once it gets saved, so it got saved now. And what we see is based on that input, it goes display the flight number. And from here, it goes to anything else of the topic, right? What we will do is we will play back that uh, information that we captured, right? User entered number uh, as a value over here. So what we will do is over here, I will play entered and uh, variable. So now if I go to my variable, uh you will see over here now user entered flight number this is now coming as a global one right if i select this one i will get that value now earlier this particular topic was not asking any information uh, before this right so just do a save and uh, we'll try to give give a test over here okay the topic is saved now we will do a test. Uh, we will select English as a preferred language. I think I have uh, started this one after so long time. It's pretty much slow. Uh, so okay, I will ask like a uh, flight status. I don't even remember the flight number. Flight number Pune to Kolkata, let's say. Let's give this one. Let's see if it gets back from the API. Uh, I don't see if it is the right number. Sometimes this dash is required or not required. But anyway, let's see what happens to the API. Okay, we got the response back. And if you see over here, it went to anything else menu and it displayed this message which is the variable which we entered, right? And what, right, what, what, what? Amur C to Hyderabad, did I select that? No idea. 
which one I got selected. Anyway, uh, so you can see that now this variable is a global one. Now, where is the use case of this one? So let's say uh, you have a module where the authentication is required, right? For any of the, uh, to provide any of the services, right? Like creating a ticket or anything else. Uh, so what you can do is uh, once if you have captured the email ID or any particular zip code or any other details which is required for the authentication, you can leverage this one, uh, the global variable, and so that it can go to a different topic, authenticate over here and come back. And similarly, the if user is authenticated or not, which is need to be traversed through each and every topic, uh, then also you can use that variable. So yeah, this is how uh, we have two kind of a different variables. There's a one more variable uh, which I want to show and if you allow me uh, so say so there is something called uh, environment variable okay so right now i don't have any environment variable but you basically uh, you get this environment variable when if you are connecting to let's say dynamics uh, 365 crm okay so what you get is some variables where you can pass the cti parameter and also pass the skill and also can pass a uh, few other details uh, which you have captured throughout the journey. So that is what uh, available in the environment variable. Okay, custom one is nothing but uh, what you have, right? And also, sorry, system variables are also there, right? What channel it get activated and you get like, if you are uh, calling a number, right? Uh, then you get the phone number also and all those details, which are like, uh we have also used this one right user language when we uh ask for the language over here and change the user language to this one so that uh, the conversation goes on english so if i select this one again uh quickly to show once it gets started so if i do in hindi you will get the initial uh, i think some message in hindi like over here that is what we have configured Okay, yeah, that's all from the variable perspective uh, in the Microsoft Copilot. Thank you. Have a nice day.